we can collaborate like superheroes. With me, I have Patrick Svoboda from Bamboozle, our long-term partner slash aggregator that is going to present a little bit um, his platform and we're very excited to have him on here. So without further ado, why don't we go right into it? And since at Zimbra, partners always come first, we start, of course, with, uh, with you, Patrick. So thank you for, for, for making the time to, um, to, to, to participate. And uh, please go ahead and um, the floor is all yours. Thanks, Matthias, and thank you for the introduction. Uh, welcome, everyone, to the webcast. Um, we only will take five minutes about us. Um, and I first want to give a short introduction uh, who we are and what we are doing. Um, we are pretty much a complete cloud provider, um, mainly focusing in the Middle East. We're in the UAE since 2015. Uh, we currently have data centers in Dubai and Abu Dhabi and soon in Oman and are serving pretty much the Middle East and Africa from, from those data centers. So we offer pretty much from classic web hosting to domains to everything to private and uh, complex cloud solutions. Um, I invite everyone here on the webcast to have a look at our website, what we're offering. Uh, but today is more about uh, Simbra and what we're offering there. One of the, the key focus areas that we have here is to pretty much provide customers with alternatives. And when I say alternatives, it's pretty much alternatives from the classic um, large corporate solutions with um, dubious privacy laws and you don't know where your data is. So we focus on solutions like Simbra, but we also focus on solutions like Nextcloud or Metamost when it comes to collaboration uh, and especially open source. And we have quite a lot of customers here like uh, the Ministry of Education of the UAE, um, Big Tickets, which is uh, one of the largest and, and most uh, hit websites here. Um, and companies like American School of Dubai, Avaya, and many, many more. So our focus is really here to provide open source solutions in multiple forms to our clients. Uh, Matthias, next slide, please. And without further ado, as Matthias uh, mentioned, we offer Simbra in, in various forms for our clients. Um, the easiest and, and I think the, the, the most popular one is as a service, which means a client can simply go to a website chooses domain, sign up for the number and type of email accounts, and is pretty much in minutes ready to go and use Simbra and all its tools um, right away online with tools like Outlook, um, with what you will see, Simbra docs, extensions, and everything. Uh, what is very important for us is that we um, add value adds to Simbra, so we um, combine our solutions with uh, advanced anti-spam and antivirus solutions. Um, unlike, for an instance, Office 365, we provide full backup of your mailboxes that we can easily restore, even with single items, which we provide to any kind of mailbox, so you don't have to look for external solutions. It's part of it. Um, so the as a services solution is pretty much for any client who needs uh, a mailbox or multiple mailboxes for himself or his team. Um, for larger teams that want more customization, more specialized solution, we offer Simbra also as a dedicated cloud solution that can be a single server, that can be multiple servers, that can be everything. All the features of the software as a service, all the services as the software as a services, so you don't lack anything. Um, but if you need more granular options in anything, you can have your dedicated cloud with us and your email, your collaboration, and your data is only for you, not shared, and just there. And of course, as a Simbra partner, we offer Simbra also on-premise. So if you're looking to deploy um, Simbra 9 or similar in your data center, in your offices, we provide the licenses, the installation, the maintenance, everything you need. So if you need Simbra or want Simbra, Middle East and Africa, we're your partner to go. And um, yes, and I think to look what Simbra 9 can do, I hand over back to Matthias, who can show you what Simbra can do for you. That's brilliant, Pat. Patrick. Thank you so much. And uh, we will hear Patrick later on, by the way. So don't don't go. Um, we have a demo, uh, which which Patrick will will um, where Patrick will show you um, his environment, and um, we'll talk a little bit about the Simbra. Um, on hand, basically. So, but let's talk a little bit about Simbra 9 and about the features. Uh, so let's start with introducing Simbra 9. So basically what is important here is to note as well, of course, that whether you work remotely from home or on the go, 
and are counted on to deliver mission critical deadlines. Number nine really is for collaboration superheroes like yourself. We're very, very happy to introduce Simba 9, which, which gives you the opportunity to, to work with a new and modern UI that is responsive and delivers the same experience on mobile devices, tablets, and desktops. And as, as we mentioned before, anytime, anywhere on any device, users will have a consistent Simbra interface. And as Patrick already mentioned before, unlike competitors with closed platforms, Simbra 9 is designed to be extensible. So small businesses, enterprises, governments, as well as service providers can really integrate with the third party collaboration services they have already in place today. This is the new Zimbra framework allows customizations for users who need to be or who need to meet geographic or industry specific requirements. And Zimblets are now even easier to build and deploy because Zimbra 9 is built with Zimbra's dependable server infrastructure, providing the security, privacy, as well as data sovereignty Zimbra customers have come to expect. And this also makes the upgrade to Zimbra 9 really really easy with the, without any migration current simba users will be able to gain access to the new experience with an easy self upgrade but of course our professional services team is there to support if you run into any issues and to ease the, the transition and adoption of simba 9 your users will have the option to toggle to the to the classic simba ui and of course, just like always, Zimbra 9 can be deployed on premises, in public or private clouds, or as a hosted service from Zimbra service providers in your own country, such as Bamboozle. So let's talk a little bit more about the new responsive user interface. It really introduces, or Zimbra 9 really introduces here a modern responsive user interface based on industry leading React-based technology that adapts to the screen it's used on. So users can move seamlessly between desktop, mobile, and tablet browsers while enjoying the same consistent and easy to use email and collaboration experience. Of course, the layout changes based on the size and capabilities of the device. So for example, on a phone, users would see mail view in one single column view. And on a tablet, it will show the same content in two columns. And of course, desktops will have three columns. But the main takeaway here is that the functionalities don't diminish with a smaller screen size, except for some intentionally avoided functionalities like the email advanced composer. The mobile screen supports all advanced functionalities that the web or tablet supports. And of course, there are third party integrations. Zimbra 9 is specifically designed for extensibility and features best in class out of the box integration with Slack, Dropbox and Zoom. And many other integrations are underway. Zimbra is fully committed to creating a collaboration ecosystem that allows small business, businesses, enterprises, as well as other organizations to utilize services they use day to day instead of being forced to use or pay for services they don't really use. So this means you can really break away and break free from the closed service, from the closed systems of Microsoft and Google and use the apps that you have already invested in. So let's talk a little bit more about the new Zimla fra Zimlet framework. Zimbra 9's new Zimlet framework allows for customization flexibility ranging from high-end collaboration to simple business email. Exclusive and custom features can be delivered using the new Zimbra 9 Zimlet framework. For Zimbra administrators, deployment and enablement continues to behave as it has in the past. So customers across a range of regions and market sectors can easily customize Zimbra to meet their unique geographic or industry requirements. And of course, we provide documentation as well as training. And more about the 
Zimbra's dependable server infrastructure. Zimbra 9 runs, on, runs Zimbra's dependable server infrastructure, providing the security, privacy, as well as data sovereignty Zimbra customers have come to expect and even require. So easy upgrade and no migration is needed. Users can expect an upgrade moving an upgrade process moving from Zimbra 8 to Zimbra 9 without any data migration um, necessary. And as usual, Zimbra will provide the documentation and tools as well as professional services to support the upgrade process. And just like always as well, Zimbra can be deployed on premises in public or private clouds or as a hosted services or as a hosted service from Zimbra service providers, just as Bamboozle. Now, when we look at the classic UI, Zimbra 9 allows end users to easily toggle between the new modern UI and the classic Zimbra UI. This will really ease adoption as end users get accustomed to the new interface and minimize help desk calls. So you're able to toggle at login as well as in Zimba preferences. And of course, there are more customization options. Just like in previous versions of Zimbra and the classic UI, you can customize the look and feel of the modern UI for your organization's needs. So you can customize logo and app icons, the top navigation bar to support integration with external sites, the login page, the primary, secondary, and tertiary colors, favicons, the title, you can customize the text of a browser's Windows title or the tab bar. You can also enable or disable forgot password link for single sign-on enabled customers. You can also customize the sidebar colors, link colors, header colors, etc. And the Zimbra branding guide will, of course, provide you more information. So why would you upgrade to Zimbra, to, to Zimbra 9 and renew your current Zimbra license? Because if you have a Zimbra subscription license or a perpetual Zimbra license with a valid support contract, the upgrade to Zimbra is totally free. Upgrading to Zimbra 9 provides improved protection against email security vulnerabilities. And to upgrade to Zimbra 9 is also easy and simple. All new functionality is built into the Zimbra install package. You simply run the install script and the new functionality will be ready to use immediately. We will see that also later on in the demo, I believe. And Zimbra professional services offer an upgrade package if your, if your IT department needs assistance with the upgrade. Now let's also take a little bit of time to look at a comparison with other solutions like Office 365 and G Suite. Zimbra really has new features now, which makes it a complete collaboration tool as such as the competition provides. So for example, Zimba Drive, which is available from version 8.8.8, is an updated file sync and share functionality. Built on the, built on the own cloud, next cloud platform, Zimba Drive provides seamless synchronization and sharing of files between your users, wherever they are, and on any device. Zimba Docs, another feature which is also available from version 8.8.9, allows users to create and collaborate using documents, spreadsheets, and presentations right inside the Zimbra web client. And last but not least, Zimbra Connect, which is available from version 8.8.8, is, is, is an add-on to Zimbra Network Edition. And here you can add enterprise level messaging and video conferencing to the tool your users use the most, which is email. And with not, without any third-party products, and simple installation. Licenses include group messaging and video conferencing, file as well as screen sharing, corporate messaging, unlimited video conferencing, and, and much more. With all of those features, Zimbra has the same level of service as the other solutions. But please don't forget Zimbra is open source based and will be hosted by you in your own country. 
And thanks to that, you will be able to guarantee security, privacy, as well as data sovereignty. Zimbra really provides a peace of mind. And it also provides everything you have really always loved about Zimbra. We still offer the lowest TCO in the industry. Zimbra is secure, private, and provides full data sovereignty. And Zimbra never reads or sells your email. You can also scale your Zimbra deployment from 10 users to 10 million without con with confidence, without any um, hesitation, I was going to say. And Zimbra runs anytime, anywhere, on, and on any device. Install it on premise, in a public or private cloud, or choose a hybrid deployment. Your options are wide open with Zimbra. And of course, open source is in our DNA, and we continue to use open source apps. Zimbra 9 will have an open core, and licensed Zimbra customers will have access to the code. So in summary, Zimbra 9's superpowers is extensibility. This, this means if you, have, if you love Zoom, Dropbox, or Slack, bam, Zimbra 9 already has them integrated. Have other business critical applications you're relying upon and invested in? Double bam. With Zimbra 9's Zimlet framework, those apps can also be easily integrated with Zimbra 9. Now, as mentioned before, let's look at the, at the demo presented by Patrick from Bamboozle. And Mariama, if you please um, assign the ownership to Patrick. Hopefully, we can see Patrick's. So, uh, just a question. You, you can see my screen already? Yes. Yes. Awesome. We can see it. Um, so, first, um, mm -hmm. I think this is a good example that um, uh, Matthias mentioned about the brandability of uh, Simbra. So, here you see pretty much a version uh, that we are using. Uh, important thing is um, we are old school. Um, we eat our own dog food. So, when we say and work with Simbra, we use Simbra pretty much since we exist. Um, for our collaboration needs, our own needs, uh, and this is pretty much our branding that you see here. Um, as you see, it's completely different than the default branding. It's not very complicated. You need a little time and a little look into the, the branding guidelines, but then you pretty much can um, tailor the application as you like it. So this is uh, the new modern interface. Um, I will not show you the old one. Um, <laughs> if you want to see that, you, you can uh, directly look into our demos that we have also online in the older interface. Um, but this is a demo account, so I will not go through how to send an email and how to, to look into context. But you see, you have a very, very simple uh, interface, a very efficient interface. And I started in my mailbox pretty much using only this anymore. So I don't use any mail clients anymore on my Mac. I don't use any other application. I pretty much do all my work now within Simbra, uh, which includes, yes, of course, your, your mailbox, here an example of the mail and composing clients, which is very rich from the functionality. So you get pretty much all the functionality you normally use to, to, to commercial apps that you have to install that then have everything um, on your screen. Um, you don't need that. The web interface is more than enough. The same fully applies for your contacts, for your calendar ring, as you see, it's first, it's really beautiful to use. It's one of the nicest interface I've ever used uh, when it comes to collaboration. I prefer it over the classic clients as well as the, the uh, online versions of uh, a lot of other apps. And everything is in a single screen and you can manage pretty much everything. So the two features I want to look into, um, and of course, uh, my my partners from Simba can can uh, at any time tell me show us something else, um, but one of the key things I love is Drive, which is pretty much for me now the reason not to have additional licenses and one one of the key arguments for Simba against Office three sixty five, um, because you can pretty much do all your documents if it's a presentation, uh, a, a classic document or a spreadsheet, and edit it online. So here are two demos, um, but we can simply create a new file. Let's make a spreadsheet or let's make a text document, um, call it and simply open it directly in Simbra, which I absolutely love with all the functionality. And you can start editing right away. And it is like a desktop app that you would normally buy for uh, a high subscription fee or for 
a high value amount. And again, this is all based on open source. So again, this is also standards that you have in there. And of course, it's compatible with everything you need, which is normally what I see with clients that they are afraid of. Can I share this with other people? Can they read the documents? Um, yes. So one thing is what I find great, you can download any file in whatever document you need it from a PDF here in, in, in a normal document to a word file to an extended word file and even as an e um, uh, epub which means you can pretty much make an ebook out of it um, it has all the functionality you're used to with with classic apps from from companies like microsoft or google um, but what i love about it it's your own dedicated document server it's on your premises or on a dedicated cloud or in a shared environment so it's in country it's high secure nobody else sees it nobody else reads it and that's very important. Um, so if you ever used open office before, you're used to it. If you used any other office app, as you see, it's pretty much exactly the same. So there is absolutely no need to go for classic desktop apps and pretty much waste the money uh, for that. The other thing is what we have seen with a lot of clients, you might have heavy users that might need certain features that are only available in certain types of office, especially when it comes to Excel, mm -hmm. that use a lot of complex apps. While this is all supported, what I love about this is if you have 100 users, 80 users Hi. might not need all those functionalities. So you can simply use Simbra and then buy one or two licenses, which is a huge cost reduction. And again, everybody can still edit and view and see them in the same interface, which is for a lot of our clients uh, a point uh, to invest into this. Because again, even the most expensive version is still half the price of Office 365. Now, another nice feature in Drive is, um, as you've seen, we have uh, made the document um, from classic version control, if you would have different versions, we can now easily share it internally and externally uh, with users or as a public link, which means I can work with partners, share them the link, they can download the document, I can see who downloaded the document, I can manage it. And internally, if I just enter an email address, so this is a demo account, it doesn't have another user, you can simply share and even give um, editing rights to the document and you will see who edited the documents in those different versions, which is best in class, what I have seen so far. And there is also, by the way, a mobile app, so you can have those applications and those documents with you on your phone, on your tablet uh, at any time. So that was a short look into Drive. As I mentioned, we have Drive also for presentations, looks exactly the same. Um, I might open one, just that you believe me that, and it's uh, not different than the other stuff. Um, so also PowerPoints, can be opened in here, edited, and they work great. So comes with us um, in all our versions um, with it. So you get Simbra Drive already for free. And the storage of Simbra Drive is always dependent on your overall mailbox size. On a dedicated instance, of course, you can um, define what you want to do here. The other feature I only want to show it like this is Connect. Um, which gives you two nice features. So first you have real-time chat with all your people in the organization, um, which is great. Um, again, this is a demo account. It doesn't have a second uh, user here, uh, but you simply can chat and share and collaborate directly in this interface. And the nice thing is, as you might see here in mail, all the users you ever chat with here will show up here. And even if you're in your mail screen, any user can chat with you and you can uh, talk and chat with them right away. You can immediately open um, uh, a camera chat, um, a webinar, and that's always included in, in the functionality. So it makes my work life super easy. Um, beside having five tools and six tools, even with the extensibility that you now have in Simbra, like Zoom and everything else, or Dropbox and all the other solutions, um, Simbra gives you all that solutions already and you don't have to look for a third party, but I love the idea that you can have any third party tool directly in here. Um, I think that's a short overview of what Simbra looks like in the online version. Um, that would be all from me um, because everything else is more really working into that. We are more than happy to provide anyone um, a demo account and you can play around with yourself and play with the functionalities um, um, on our website, you just have to request it. Um, back to Matthias, I would say. Thank you so much, Patrick. That was super, super well done. Um, so we've done the demo. Uh, hopefully you can see my screen again. 
Um, this is really the last slide. So we, we, of course, would like to thank you for your attendance. And um, Patrick, thank you so much for for your contribution. Very, very interesting. Great presentation. Great demo. Um, and hopefully this was of value to everyone who attended this webinar. Um, we want to open it up now for questions. Um, so let's see if there are any questions. Mariama, can you see any questions at all? Barry? There is no questions. No questions so far. Let's give it maybe a few, a few more a few more seconds. Other than that, if there are no more questions, um, you can see everybody can see our our contact details. So feel free to reach out to Patrick or to myself. Um, you can see the email here for patrick.swoboda at bamboozle.me or my email matthias.kunz at cinacore.com and there's also a telephone number. Feel free to, to give me a call or email me. Um, so I would suggest then if there are no more questions, let's conclude this webinar. Um, but as I said before, feel free to reach out to to one of our, to, to Patrick or to myself with any questions that you can think of once once we've, um, we've ended the webinar now. So I'd like to thank again everyone for the attendance. Um, I hope to hear from you soon uh, with, some in, with some interesting uh, projects or, 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 or some questions that you have and we look forward to, to answer them. Thank you very much again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.